Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So this week I'm using the Fox and Cactus Outback Floral Kit in my planner. So if you want to see how this one all came together, then just keep watching. Alrighty, so I have this gorgeous Fox and Cactus kit. As soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to use, I knew I had to have it. But I'm going to do with this kind of what I do with my um, plan to create kits. And I'm going to try and make a kit that's not made for my size planner work. I don't know if I'm going to make this work, but I'm going to give it a shot. So, the thing I love. So this is the, I think it's called, I don't remember what it's called. Damn, I have to look it up. Hold up. Outback Floral. I knew it was simple. Um, I love the little critters and I love the florals. But this is the problem. There's not quite enough of it. So I'm going to cut some of this up. I'm very scared to do it, but I am going to play with this. But before I do, I want to put some speckles down on this one. I haven't done speckles for a little while, and I thought a little bit of um, green and yellow speckles would kind of help pull all of this together. Uh, so I've just grabbed my watercolours. I'm just going to add just a bit of water over here, and then I'll join it all in together. Um, so... The green. I might need to just play with my colours a little bit before I get started here. Just to make sure I've got the right ones. Just grabbing a bit of paper. And that might be a bit too yellow. So let's go up here. Okay, that's the right yellow. And then for the green, just cleaning this out a bit. I think this is the green. No, it's not. It's too green. Um, it is a very... I think that's the wrong green too. Yeah, it's more of a teal green. So, ooh, that's closer. I'm gonna mix myself up a little bit of color over here. So I've got like a green, and then I'm putting in a bit of blue. It just needs to be, oh, that's pretty close. It just needs to be close, because you're only gonna see the speckles, so it's not gonna matter. So I mixed a combination of this blue and this green, which is giving me this little teal up here. Uh, and then I've got that plain yellow. So I'm going to start with the, the blue, just so that way I can... I've already got the mix, so it makes it a bit easier. So just dropping the splatters all over the page. doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, the less perfect, the better. And I'm just kind of making it, when I say even, just so that there's the, the right amount. Remembering I've got another colour to go here. Uh, because I do have another colour, like a whole colour, I'm just going to clean my brush out before I switch, just so it's as clean, well, not as clean as I can make it, but just so it's clean. Now, do two things here. If you don't mind the colours mixing together, you can obviously just go splattering now. I have a fly in here, it's bugging me, I need to get rid of it. I'm a little bit, would prefer this to stay not quite so mixed, so I'm just going to hit this with the heat tool just to dry it off, and then I'll do the other splatter colour. If you've ever got some big splatters like I kind of have, I'm quite fine picking them up with a bit of paper towel. They're still a little darker than the other ones, but it'll just mean that I don't have to sit here with the heat tool for quite as long. As long as you dab instead of brush, you should still get the kind of splattery effect. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the yellow. It's not enough water. And just do the exact same thing we just did. But I'm kind of trying with the yellow to clump it up a bit more. I know that sounds weird, but I want it to sort of join in over the top of the, the teal. I'm not worrying too much about the top and the bottom because I'm going to cover that with washi tape anyway, so it won't make any difference. I'm not going to go too over the top because I don't want to I don't want to drive, I don't want to go too crazy. I'm just going to add just a little bit more of the teal. It's just missing a little over this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing again. Dry it off, dab off the excess, and then we'll come back and start putting some stickers down. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. 
So I just grabbed a cup of water just to put my brush in so it gets a bit clean. And then I just clean up my little water drops here with the paper towel that I was already using. As you can see, I don't always do that. And I have random bits of watercolour all over the place. Oopsies. Alright. Now this is the part that I'm not stuck on, but struggling with a little bit. So I only have enough washi or washi strip to do the top just the top or just the bottom so what I am going to do is a little bit different but I'm going to I'm going to do some sticker surgery which is making me very nervous but I'm gonna do it anyway so I've just put it down onto a another bit of uh, sticker paper just gonna line it up it's really important that it's straight because I am going to cut it and I want it to be straight so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up Hold on. I have plenty of these bits of, bit of sticker paper this is just leftovers from you know, when I finish sheets off. So I'm cutting it so that I've got this edge and then I'm just trimming it down. And it sounds weird. I'm trimming it down so that I've got a thinner version of what I've got. And then I can try and use the, the other bits. I know that makes no sense, just trust me. So what I'm trying to do here is just avoid the critters, which may be a lot easier said than done. I'm sorry, I'm cutting your gorgeous tape, Emma. No. Uh-oh. It's all right. It's all right. It will be fine. I have torn a little bit, but I'm hoping I can still make this work. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the top. So what I'm doing is cutting it down. So I've got a very thin strip and then a wider strip. That's the, the plan. I'm a little worried, but it's okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So I'm just going to trim this down again. I'm having sticker cutter's remorse, but anyway, it's done now. It's done now. Sticker cutters. I can hear Charlotte giggling, and I always think she's giggling at me when I do silly things like this. But anyway. I'm trying to make it work so that I don't have to buy through lots of stickers. I'm being a tight ass. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to try and make this straight before I do it, which I did, so it's okay. Um, so I'll just cut the, the bit off under the feet. That one worked a bit better. And then we'll do the same thing, just cut off just above their ears. Uh oh, I may have just decapitated the wombat's head. It's okay. The problem is that now I've made it not even. Damn! Okay, it's okay. It's fine. Don't freak out. We're not freaking out. Emma, I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do is to, to make this even, because that's the biggest thing here, I need this sort of tape to be even. I'm just using my little guide here. This is just a bit of washi tape, but it's thick sort of glitter tape. And that way I can put this in. I want to cut from the bottom. I'd rather cut off a bit of his tail than a bit of his head. So pushing that up against the edge, and then I can just trim off this little bit so that it's going to be even. All right, I'm hoping when I get this put down, it'll kind of all come together. So I'm putting the critters at the top. There probably will still be a little bit, I'll still have to do some surgery. I'm not done yet by any stretch, but I'm hoping it'll be okay. Hoping. Tape down. Now I have to go 
right up to the edge because I kind of kind of have to join those two little bits. This is, I think it's made for a, a happy planner. And I'm also just gonna white out the Monday. So it's not peeking out. So I'm trying to get that as close to the top as I or as close to straight as I can, which I didn't do a very good job. And then I got it right up against the edge. So I'm going to rescue this little bit. And then I'm gonna I'm still gonna be a little shy, but I think I can fix it up with like a a sticker in the edge or something so I'll do that in a second. I'm just gonna put that little bit that I rescued down first. I haven't pushed fully so I can kind of yank this bit up just to put a bit of white out. The good thing is that flower actually joins up really well there so it you can tell that I've cut it but it's not as obvious as it could be. So I'll fix that corner up in a minute. That actually doesn't look too bad. The hardest, or the hard part now, is I've got to work out what I'm gonna do with the bottom. If I'm gonna put down some of this skinny washi, cause that's actually not too far away from being even. Or if I'm gonna pull in, this is from Black Wombat. It's actually from my advent calendar from a couple of years ago. And I just thought with the cute little wombats that would all kind of work together. And I actually kind of like it. I actually kind of like it. So I'm going to put the the little red wombats on the bottom. I'm putting them right at the bottom, and then I'll just trim off the excess before I finish. Before I decide, yes, that's what I want. The only other kind of washi I grab. This is from Mr. Moose. This is a beautiful Australian natives one, but I thought the florals might look nice as well so I'm just checking which one I kind of like better. I don't know why I'm leaning towards the Mr. Moose. Hold on, before I decide either of these. You know what? Yes they both look great but they're just not quite, they're just not quite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the little skinny strip here that I've got left over and because I have a couple of these little strips, I can kind of get away with building them together. I'm putting that right along my bottom. And then I'm just checking the width, which is just about right. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I'll, I'll cope with that. I just, the washi tape was fine. It just looked a little bit much. I might still use some of the, the wombats. I feel like the wombats just suit this very nicely. So I've got just a little bit here. This one's a little wide so I'm just gonna just trim down a bit. I messed this up when I cut it so it doesn't matter if I fiddle with it a bit. The hardest part here is making it making this super thin bit. So I'm just lining it. Ooh, I should get away with that. I don't quite know how I did it, but... I took my other tweezers down to my work desk because my work desk doesn't live in my office anymore and I must have left them down there because I went to go find them and I couldn't find them, so... I'm using my other tweezers. I have like nine pairs, so it's not a big deal. But just in case anyone asks and goes, they're not your normal rainbow ones. No, they're not. These are my, <laughs> these are my old pink ones. Uh, okay, so I need to put something up here. I'm going to use some of the boxes down the edges, so I don't want to use those. And I didn't buy too much deco with this one because I wanted the kit to be very kind of speak for itselfish. I know that makes no sense, but all right, this is a, a weird thing to do. But this is me getting absolutely every last bit out of this kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack up these little bits. It'll look weird, I think. 
but we'll see. If it does look weird, I can always just take it up. So I'm just cutting it, stacking it, and cutting it, and stacking it, and cutting it, and stacking it until I've got how much I need. Actually, it doesn't look as weird as I thought it would. Now, there's a little bit here that doesn't, it needs to be like a half. So I'm just thinking if I, well, I might as well. I'm just going to try and cut this in to be sort of like the width I need it to be. It's probably not going to be straight or the width I need it to be, but I'm going to try. Yeah, it's close. It's close enough. I feel like if you didn't look for it, you wouldn't see that there. So I'm going to go with it and I might put another sticker to kind of hide it later, but I actually think that's turned out rather well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my, no, I'm not. I'm not going to put my date covers down first. I'm going to put my boxes down first because I want to put the boxes on the outside and the date covers on the inside. So I'm just taking off my Australia Day sticker. That one's from Lime, uh, Luscious Label, sorry. And I'm going to leave it black this week. But I'm going to put it down onto a box. But I'll do that afterwards. So I'm just going to rub off the excess sticky that's on here. There's only a little bit. And it's only, I probably don't need to. But Okay, and then boxes I've got four, five, five full boxes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight. So I want to cover up the top over here. And I want to put something here. But I might go one two, three, four, no, so I'm going to go, no, I'll do three on each, so I'll do three down one side and three down the other, and then I'll pat it out with this Monday, Tuesday, so it's got a little bit sort of my meal planner for the week. So this, again, I know I say this every time, but my boxes and the boxes in the kit are not the same size, so I just like, oh sorry, I was going to put it on the outside, wasn't I? Um, so I just like to pile it up and just stack it whichever way I like and that's where I don't mind the fact that I've only got six boxes and not the full eight because eight wouldn't fit anyway so it works really well so I'm just making sure I don't put the critters near the other critters so this one's really good I can use the the echidna because the echidna is not on this side he's on the other side I'm gonna put a big pop of red middle and I'm just going to leave that for now and I'll come back to it. So put the wombat at the bottom and then just to mix it up I'm going to go straight up with the boxes and then I'll put, no I'll go straight up with the boxes. I always sort of second guess myself a little bit. I am going to put a little bit of this blue it's not straight, but I'll get over it. Um, and then, I'm going to say, what colour am I missing here? I'm missing red. So I'll bring red in at the top. And there should be... I feel very odd. I don't usually stack stickers quite like this, but it'll be fine. And then... I know that's about the right width. I thought it was going to be too wide, but it's not. It's going to fit really nicely. Go! And then I'll put... I actually want to pull this one up. And then I can put a couple of the skinny ones in between, because I feel like it's a bit much otherwise. when you you use a company for one thing all the time so I always I go to Fox and Cactus for washi tape for so many different things sometimes I forget how amazing their stickers are and wonder why I don't use them more often um, 
so I've actually just been thinking about it and rather than putting the days on the edge like on the outside I'm actually going to put them on the inside so I'm just moving them over a little bit but I just kind of like the look of the middle being open it's just something different so I'm going to do that I'm also going to put in some the numbers I'm going to use these Barney and Moon ones um, they can't just didn't come with numbers but any number sticker you've got will work here I just I like the font on the Barney and Moon and it kind of matches a little bit um, and I need to bring in just a little bit of black because I don't have any black on this yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Oh, I really like that. Okay, let's add in the other bits and pieces that we need so I'm gonna put you know what I'm already doing surgery to a bunch of these stickers so I'm gonna do a bit more so I'm just gonna trim off the light green I just want the dark green I'm trying not to ruin the dark the light green though so if I decide I want to use it I can so I'm gonna use that for my Australia Day sticker on Wednesday my little Luscious label sticker fits there perfectly. Okay, and then Charlotte's got an OT appointment on Thursday. So what colour do I need to put here? Um, maybe a bit of yellow at the, in the middle. If that's the middle or not. Uh, I'm going to put a very long. So I'm going away for the weekend, which feels really odd. Um, but I'm going away for the weekend. So I want to put my packing list down the side. So again, we do a little bit of sticker surgery. I'm just cutting the tag off the bottom of this one. So just for this one, I don't mind going, um, like just having the list down the side. I'm not going to be doing anything else on Saturday and Sunday or Sunday and the, my break. So I don't mind sort of waste, not wasting, but using this whole room to sort of write my list. Okay, so I'll just write packing on the top. That's definitely happy mail. Um, so I'm actually going to move that over. I'm going to move it over a little bit and I'm going to put this cute little happy cat face on the top because that's how I feel about this weekend. I feel I feel very happy. Um, but then I'm also going to grab the yellow, this yellow one, and just put that at the top. And I'll just write in weekend away. So away Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I can put my happy mail. Can go over in this box. I feel like I want to use that flag. I just don't know what for. Okay, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to write day off in there. So, the last sort of things I need, I need a bunch of my little icons. spots were a very good idea. The spots were a very, very, very good idea. Um, I think it would have looked very empty without the spots. And I like that that's pulled in a bit of the, the, the red and the yellow to, the, sorry, the red and the blue to me kind of not overwhelm this, but to me, I look at it and I'm drawn to the red and I'm drawn to the blue. So the fact that the green and the yellow, green and gold is obviously Aussie colors as well, but the fact that the green and the yellow kind of are there, it just balances it out. And I, I actually really like that. Um, I could have done a flipper, could have very easily made a flipper as well. I just, sorry, I just noticed the, the edge here and I didn't like it, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be happy. I have a squeaky chair too, which is kind of annoying me. Um, but there we go. That's my week using the Fox and Cactus Native Florals Kit. Emma, this is a gorgeous kit, well done. 
Uh, absolutely perfect for Australia Day, of course. Uh, so I couldn't wait to watch. I've been hoarding it since Christmas. I bought it at Christmas time because I knew I'd, I knew I'd need a kit for Australia Day, and this was the one I wanted. So if you do want to grab this kit too, you don't have to use it for Australia Day. You can use it whenever you like. Uh, I will link it down below. You can check it out. Fox and Cactus are also participating in my 15,000 giveaway. If you haven't already checked out that video, I will link it down below. Could win a $20 voucher to Fox and Cactus and lots of other stores. Um, so yeah, go check that video out. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome week and I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.